What is up guys, Lil Mark here and this is episode 4 of Road to 50 Goals with Lee Trundle and as you can see Lee Trundle so far has got 5 goals from 9 games which isn't that great but surprisingly we have not lost with this team yet there have been a few draws but we haven't lost um, with our centre backs being the main score scorers from corners so far so I've been mean, scoring a lot of goals from corners, I don't know what it is recently but it just seems to be working um, as you can see, we came up against this guy whose squad name was Sweaty, but his team isn't really that sweaty. Uh, but I thought maybe his play style will be like that, and, and as you can see, his um, team name was Let Me Win as well. And then early on, Rooney finds a bit of space, has a shot, but the keeper comes off with a good save, and then from a corner, and guess what? We're going to take it with Johnson, um, and we got the two best overpowered centre-backs in the game, and this time... Agbonna gets his goal. So, once again, I should probably change the series to road to 50 goals with my centre backs. They've been scoring that much. And once again, we got a corner, but this time um, the keeper saves two headers, but he throws it straight down the middle. And we header it straight up up front to Lee Trundle, and he uses his strength and just smashes it with his left foot into the back of the net. So that's not too bad of a goal. Um, he used quite a bit of strength there, Trundle. And but later on to the game, this guy manages to get one back from a rebound. We headed it, headed it straight to him, and Tarap picks up the goal. Then later into the second half, um, a bit of build-up play here. Um, as you can see, we got it off to Johnson. Johnson to Trundle, back to Johnson. Um, skill ahead, and then he just crosses it in, and a lovely little finish from Trundle. And scoring another headed goal, so that's definitely his strength. I've said that before, um, and that wasn't too bad of a goal. You know, the build-up was quite nice, and then the little cross in there to Trundle, and he is not going to miss from there. Um, this guy manages to get a goal back though through continual with a header, which he is very unlikely to score headers. But we want another corner, and guess what? This time Ogbonna getting a double. And um, so far, Trundle and Agbonna have both got doubles. And then, just before the end of the game, he throws a lovely ball from Continual to Welbeck. Over the top ball. It was quite a nice ball. Quite liked it. And he manages to score. But that's the end of the game. Full time. We won that one 4-3 with Trundle um, picking up two goals as well as Agbonna. And in the end, Johnson got man of match. Not sure why Ogbonna didn't get man of match. You know, two goals for a centre back. That's quite incredible. Anyway, into the second game of the series, um, of the episode, I mean. And we come up against this guy, 3-5-2. We have not lost a game yet. So hopefully we can keep it up. But we didn't get off to a great start as um, some nice build up from him. And then he crosses it in. And my Chizio with a diving header gives him the lead. 1 0 up after 8 minutes. So he. He got the perfect start, and then, well, the game was pretty even, but um, in the end, it just fell for him, and I fell for the through-the-legs trick there, the R1 through-the-legs trick. I knew he was going to do it, actually, but by that stage, it was too late, and he was already through, and he managed to score, and um, anyway, late into the game, um, he then won a penalty, so this was not our best game. Um, well, the stats were pretty even, but... He just managed to take the opportunities, and then he scored the penalty with Puki. And have a look at this celebration, running all over the place, shushing me, and I uh, wasn't happy about that. I was a bit frustrated after that. But anyway, we lost that one 3-0, so that was very disappointing. I th yeah, as you can see with the stats, yeah, it was pretty even. Um, maybe he probably still deserved the win there. He had the more possession, but I thought I deserved at least one or two goals. Um, and it would have been nice if Lee Trundle could get a goal, but he couldn't. So we lose that one 3-0. And then anyway, into the final game of the episode, I decided to put an attribute shooting card on Lee Trundle. I thought I'd give it a go and um, see if we can score some goals with his uh, left foot. And anyway, into the game we go. And we come up against this 4-1-2-1-2 team, all-Colombian team, with Muriel and Inform Jackson Martinez up front. Um, no Falcal, not sure why I didn't have him, but 
He decided to go with Muriel with the pace and Jackson Martinez. And early on to the game, a terrible defending mistake from me. I went with the ball roll, drag back fake, but he tackled me and he crossed it into Muriel. And he is not going to miss from there. So he gets the 1-0 lead. And anyway, we win a corner and obviously we know what's going to happen. Um, eventually it falls to Chiellini and he um, just nicely tucks it into the back of the net. And it's one all now. And then Sessin Young fighting for the ball, gets it to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney with the fake shot, finds a bit of space, off to Trundle. And Trundle, well there's his extra shooting. That's what it got him the goal. And um, usually the keeper would save those in the previous um, games I've played with him. But with that extra 10 shooting, it helps a lot. And at that time he was not going to miss. And then later on to the game we win another corner. And who's going to win it? Chiellini obviously and this time Giorgio Chiellini with a double so Bonner in the first game got a double now Chiellini so our centre backs are on fire in this series and we ended up getting a goal late in the game with Sessignon a nice long shot there Trundle was open but he was kind of, I wasn't sure if he was onside so I just went with the long shot there with Sessignon and that's going to be the end of the game 4-1 we win that one with Trundle scoring that one goal it wasn't too bad of a goal, but Chiellini, man of match, scoring a double for a centre-back. Our centre-backs are on fire, and that's going to be the end of the episode. Um, thanks for watching. As you can see, Trundle's got 8 goals from 12 games, so he's improving a little bit. And um, hopefully we can um, keep scoring the goals and get to those 50 goals. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. See ya.